Hi guys, today I'll be attempting to solve read code 200, which is number of filings. Uh, so the problem is quite simple. <clears throat> it's given an M in cross n to the grid of islands. We have to return the number of islands in the grid. So um, islands or land are represented by one and water is represented by zero. And we define an island to be a piece of land, or like the, a, a number in this case, which is surrounded by or connected by water on all four sides, horizontally and vertically. So in example one, we can see that the output is one. And this is the case because uh, we can observe that we form the first uh, row of ones uh, are horizontally connected to each other. And then you have a couple of ones below them also, which again are horizontally connected. And these three rows are again vertically connected. So this entire thing, I'll just draw it really quickly this would be an island for us as per our definition. And it's also an island because it's surrounded by water on each of its sides. So you have zeros all over here, right? So we define this uh, land must be an island. This can't be an island because it is connected vertically, but not horizontally to any other island. And it is surrounded by land on one side. That's the problem. If it was a single one over here, or let's say over here, with zeros on all four sides, it would have been an island. Okay, that's the uh, understanding of the problem basically. In this case, again, we have uh, three as our output and very understandably so because then we have one island here, these couple of ones, these couple of ones. We have an island here, which is surrounded by water on all four sides, except for the diagonal elements. And yeah, we have three islands in this case then given the one also here because it's surrounded by water on all four sides. This one has zero, 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 and zero. So this is a breadth for search algorithm, I guess. So let's get into coding of this. It's a bit long, but it's certainly doable. So we take our base case first. So if if our grid is, let's say empty, that's our base case. Um, if that's the case, we return zero because obviously there are no islands, we return zero set row and columns in this case to be equal to the length of length of grid of zero okay we set that and we make our visited increment or a visited initialization which is set and And we run a breadth for search algorithm in this case. So for that, we need to, let's say, take rows and columns. And we define our Q in this case, because normally we use Qs in BFS. So Q would be collections dot And now we've visited RNC initially first, that's why we in BFS. So we add it to our visited nodes. And when that's, okay, this is a tuple, just a small mistake I made here. So I had to enclose this in two brackets. Uh, so just be careful about that. Yeah. And we append our queue on the basis of the islands we visited. So we do Q dot append. Let's see. And while we have the appended Q to be non-empty, we can find our rows and columns to contain the island or contain the one element which is popped off. So we do pop left in this case. And now when we pop an island, we have to check vertically and horizontally on all four sides to check whether our conditions for water or the, the element zero being around the island is true or not. So we need to check all those four conditions with respect to this one coordinate, which we've popped off. So we might be tempted to define directions as in this case, let's say one zero for right, negative one zero. 0, 1, and you have 0, negative 1. So 
we do that and now we check all these four different directions so we have four direction of rows direction of columns in we can define our update our rows and columns basically to be equal to row plus dr and column plus dr oh sorry dc and now we have that if a condition r is in range of rows and is in columns and you have grid of R C is an island itself and we also need to check if it has not been visited before so we do that by not in When that's the case, we do Q R L C and we add this to our visited set of nodes. So that's basically a BFS algorithm in this case. And now we define our Follow for R and range of for Q columns. Now we check our conditions again. So if we have if grid R C double equals one R C is not visited yet. We run the BFS and see, and we update our islands. Then return islands. That's our code basically. Let's see if this works. I think if, okay, there's an unexpected. Uh, problem in indentation the expected and indented block okay. this might be because uh, they close my brackets properly I did um Because we have defined our uh, algorithm here, Q for loop, if condition. This should be the same issue which occurs again, which isn't solving our problem. Uh, but okay, what if I do this? Same orientation. Okay. Okay, okay, to define rows like that. So we do that. And again, we haven't defined the C. Uh, oops, this should be C again. I'm sorry about that. And yeah, this works. And if I submit this, um, get that runs around 407 MS and 22 MB. So yeah, this is the code and I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.